Good morning. Let's read Psalm 27, verse 4, as we begin today. It says here, One thing have I asked of the Lord that I will seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in His temple. Every time we gather, every morning, through morning worship and prayer, this is what we do. We seek after the Lord through His Word and worship Him together. Let's do that this morning. Si Yahweh ang aking pastor Di ako magkukulang Pinahihimlay niya ako sa Nunti ang pastulan Inakay niya sa tahimik na batisan Pinanunumbalik niya aking kalakasan Pinapatnubayan ng bawat hakbang Di ako nag-iisa Yahweh, 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 pag-ibig mo'y walang angkan. Yahweh, 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 sa'yo ako'y mananahan. Si Yahweh. Siyang aking kalakasan Ang aking patnubay sa Landas ng katuwiran Upang ang alam niya'y aking papurihan Pastunay ang aking matibay na Si Yahweh ang aking 
This morning, we're reading from Luke chapter 17, starting in verse 11 until verse 19. It says here, On the way to Jerusalem, he was passing along between Samaria and Galilee. And as he entered the village, he was met by ten lepers, who stood at a distance and lifted up their voices, saying, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. When he saw them, he said to them, Go and show yourselves to the priest. And as they went, they were cleansed. Then one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back, praising God with a loud voice. And he fell on his face at Jesus' feet, giving him thanks. Now he was a Samaritan. Verse 17. Then Jesus answered, Were not ten cleansed? Where are the nine? Was no one found to return and give praise to God except this foreigner? And he said to him, Rise and go your way. Your faith has made you well. Lord, bless your word today. I pray that you will speak to us as we learn from Luke chapter 17, from those verses that we've read. In Jesus' name, amen. If you look at the condition of the lepers, people maintain a distance from them, for they are social outcasts because of their physical condition. For them, they needed to maintain a distance, thinking, don't go beyond this point, and stay far from others. Because the lepers were strangers and separated from their social interactions and fellowship at that time. They were out of place in the society. And to be away from people in social relationships where you can feel belong and accepted is hard. To be sick and far from people is much harder. It affects us emotionally and mentally. And the only way for the lepers to be heard is to lift up their voice. That's what happened when they saw Jesus from a distance. In verses 13 and 14, the first section of 14, it says there, they lifted up their voices saying, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. And when he saw them, he said to them, go and show yourselves to the priest. The picture that we can see from this verse is that Jesus has drawn closer to them. This can be shocking because they are used to talking people from a distance. Imagine that. You interact with people from a distance. You talk to people from a distance because of your physical condition. But through Jesus, they were able to interact with Him. Their minds were conditioned that people won't bother drawing near to them. But Jesus did something different with them and for them. Jesus seems to have gone near to the lepers, for it was when he saw, not when he heard them, that he spoke. Imagine that. Jesus did not speak when they were far from him. For sure, Jesus was close to them when he spoke with them. And when Jesus drew near to them, they were in contact with the power and compassion of God. It was more than an interaction with the person of Jesus. It was an experience of the power and compassion of Him. This morning, this is one thing that we can learn from the story, that Jesus draws closer to us so we can be drawn nearer to Him. Jesus draws closer to us. He draws closer to you. He draws closer to the people who are far from Him whether they are physically challenged or they have uh, challenges in life or they have a hard time dealing with. For us, when we feel far, Jesus draws closer to us. He sees our situation. He speaks to our condition. And in fact, in the story, Jesus noticed the response of the people. Luke chapter 17 in 14, section B to 18, it says there, And as they went, they were cleansed. Then one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back, praising God with a loud voice. And he fell on his face at Jesus' feet, giving him thanks. Now he was a Samaritan. Then Jesus answered, Were not the ten cleansed? Where are the nine? Was no one found to return and give praise to God except this foreigner? Jesus has made himself 
close to people so that people can be drawn nearer to him. And Jesus is making himself close to us so that we can be drawn nearer to him. And when we are drawn nearer to him, what happens is that when we interact with his word, we have the same response as those people that interacted with him. They obeyed Jesus' word. We obey Jesus for what he says come to pass. Think about that. Remember the time when you were praying and asking God for something in your life, in your family, in your work, and God showed up? We know that He showed up because we trusted His word and we obeyed Him. And when the ten lepers received the word of Jesus, they went and they received their healing. Immediately, we obey Jesus. How can we draw closer to Jesus? Not only do we obey Him, but we go back to Jesus and praise Him for what He has done. Sad to say in the story, there's only one out of ten who recognized the miracle and returned to Jesus worshiping. And Jesus zoomed into the story and He asked the question, where are the other people who were healed and they're not here? That's sad. When we are in contact with power and compassion of Jesus, we either see our physical restoration enough and forget Jesus, or we see our healing leading us to a greater miracle, which is spiritual wholeness and faith in Him. That's why the one leper who returned who was thankful when he went to Jesus and Jesus saw him, and Jesus noticed about his response of going back being grateful, thankful, praising, and worshiping Him, Jesus said to him, Rise and go your way. Your faith has made you well. Jesus draws closer to us so we can be drawn nearer to Him. So three applications that we can learn from the story. First, let's draw near to Jesus every day. Second, obey His word. Trust His word. Let's respond to what He says because He does fulfill what He promises. Lastly, praise Jesus for His works of grace. Let's not forget Him. Let's go back to Him. Let's return to Him. Let's seek Him and trust Him over and over again. Lord, thank you that we can be drawn closer to you today because you first took the initiative to be drawn closer to you by your work on the cross. Thank you, Jesus, for allowing us to experience that. Thank you for giving us that opportunity. You have drawn yourself closer to us so that we can take a step of faith drawing near to you. Lord, give us the grace to do that. We pray that you will help us recognize all the works of grace that you do in our lives. Help us not forget and miss out what you are doing and the blessings that you are giving us. Thank you that we will be thankful, we will be grateful, just like the one leper who experienced your miracle, who went back to you and said, it's beyond the physical wholeness. I want something better, which is a walk and a journey with Jesus. We want that every day. Would you do that every day? Would you impress in, heart, in our hearts that desire for us to draw near to you, obey your word, trust you, and praise you every day? This we ask in your name. Amen. Let's praise him and worship him once again. Tumaan man ako sa Tipis ng kamatayan Takot ay walang lugar Sa pusong may tiwala Dumaan man ako sa Tipis ng kamatayan Takot ay walang lugar Sa iyo ko'y tiwala Dumaan man ako sa Libis ng kamatayan Takot ay walang lugar Sa pusong may tiwala Ikaw
Ikaw ang aking tagapagligtas Ikaw sa akin ang lahat-lahat Yahweh Yahweh Lord, thank you for today. Bless each one of us. May we experience the joy and the pleasure of following you and the benefit of what it is like to have you in every area of our lives. Bless your people in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you.